If you're trying to eat foods that are supposedly healthful for you, prepare to be bummed out because you're totally doing it wrong. Hello friends, I am Noah Gluten, and today I'm going to share some news with you which is probably bad news, but on the plus side you can share it with your friends and give them bad news too. There are a lot of buzzworthy pseudo-health foods out there that people get very excited about. But here are our top five pseudo-health foods that are actually not as good for you as you think they are. It's actually just five consecutive pictures of the McDonald's egg white sandwich. Uh, apparently that is not at all what it is, and I should be reading my scripts before I show up. At number five, we have olive oil, or more specifically, olive oil that is cooked at a very high temperature. Now, olive oil is basically good for you, but it has a very low smoking point. So if you cook it at a higher temperature, it degrades quickly and the carcinogens in it will begin to develop. Cooking with more stable oils like safflower oil or grapeseed oil will actually make the whole process work a lot better. So you can fry up all your ugly, terrible processed meats in the good oil and get cancer from the meat instead of the oil. So, you know, it's uh, better for you. Number four on our list is dairy. You see, it gives you cancer. Moving on. Oh, you want facts about it and how it gives you cancer. The China study and a few other researchers out there have been saying that casein, which is the protein found in milk when consumed in high quantities, can be linked to cancer. Other research has found that cancer is bad for you. Add to that the insane amount of antibiotics and hormones injected into cows, and you start to find out that milk and other dairy products are maybe not as good for you as you thought they were. Uh, on the plus side, though, transgender cows look way more attractive, as you can tell by my new boyfriend, Bessie. If you can't give up dairy completely because it's delicious, then I can recommend that you just consume less of it and a higher quality of dairy. So, you know, locally sourced, sustainable, organic, all that good stuff. You know, like the stuff that uh, Pizza Hut and Papa John's makes for you. Our third fake healthful food is fruit juice. Now you see, even if you make fruit juice at home, it still has a very, very high sugar content, and then you're basically straining out all the fiber, which is what makes your poop come out way better. A better option if you want that fruit juice flavor, but with more fiber and a more filling meal, just make a smoothie. Or as I call it, a blendy, because smoothie just sounds like something you poop. I talk a lot about poop on this show, is that okay? Or just drink some vegetable juice. Or even better, eat a vegetable. You know, like a, a normal adult. Or whatever, go to the movies, I don't care, do whatever you want. But, you know, if possible, drink less juice, less sugar, it's, you know, it's, it's better for you. Number two on our list is another sweet thing, agave syrup. See, it's marketed as this very healthful alternative to other sweeteners, but in reality, it's just another heavily processed sweetener. Agave syrup is actually higher in fructose than high fructose corn syrup, so maybe they should rename it extremely high fructose corn syrup. Am I right? I'm not sure. The fructose content in agave syrup can create all kinds of problems, like a resistance to insulin, and also an increase in your triglycerides, which leads to, uh, you know, liver damage, which, like cancer, is bad. So if you're in the habit of sweetening your liquor with a splash of agave syrup, your liver would like to inform you that you should go f yourself. Coming in at number one is soy. See, soy is used a lot as a replacement for meat and dairy, but it also finds its way into a lot of other products we're having these days. For starters, most soy on the market these days is genetically modified, and many scientists seem to agree that that is not an especially good thing for you. So when you're eating your tofurkey dogs or your soy vanilla lattes, just think that you're probably increasing your chances of reproductive disorders, heart diseases, and cancer. So those were our five foods that you might have thought were good for you, but actually weren't. At this rate, the way things are going in this country, we got a feeling that within the next few weeks, we'll find out that pretty much all food is bad for you, and we should all just starve ourselves. I'm Noah Galutin. Subscribe to Taste and you get tons of info from us about foods you should not be eating and then watch our other shows in which we cook those exact same foods. See, we do it all here.